Welcome, everybody. Please have a seat. It is wonderful to be here. Welcome to the White House. And we are here to celebrate an extraordinary achievement. Phil Kessel is a Stanley Cup champion. Hey. Let's give it up for the Pittsburgh Penguins. I remember texting guys during the last dance with Michael Jordan, like, are you watching this? This is why there's cameras everywhere. Do you understand? Like, you know, and other guys texting me, like, we have to have the cameras around. I mean, like there was so much stuff going on in those years and being able to be a part of that. It was unreal. Those outdoor games, especially the one in Pittsburgh, that really stands out. That was one of my all time favorites. Bear around behind, left it there, wrap around by Cullen and a second attempt, yeah! they score! just hanging out in the football locker room before and walking around the stadium and just the atmosphere. I kind of felt like I'd seen it all, but I felt like a kid going through that experience. Now you're walking in and the whole crowd goes, you do, do most. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. I've always wanted to do it. All those special moments, I mean, all those snapshots in my mind, you know, when I look back, you know, to be able to have those captured, you know, you're, you're always going to have kind of a, a part of that day with you. Mario, Ron Francis, Brian Trasher, Paul Coffey. I never played with Sid. I would have probably more goals right now, but... Uh, <laughs> Send me a copy. All right. <laughs> I'll send it over. This is Rocket Richard's stick. Can we hold it? You sure? Yeah? That's awesome. I mean, I could have stayed there for hours. I mean, there's so much history and so many things that you probably wouldn't have expected to have access to. Andy Warhol did two hockey images, a Gretzky and a Rod Bear, and that's the oh, Rod wow. Bear. So it's an original Andy Warhol. I mean, here in Pittsburgh, you know, Mike Lang, he's every bit, you know, the, the, the star player. He is Pittsburgh Penguins hockey. We had his 40th anniversary celebration in 1415 in the locker room. I know he was touched to be coming into the locker room before a game. It was uh, totally unexpected, and uh, I was totally blown away by it. It meant the world to me, and Sid was there to present an award to me. It was moving, uh, really moving as far as uh, a part of my career it really was at that time. Those moments are obviously really, really cool. The one who stands out for me was probably 1500 game. And like you said, you're sitting there as a fan and, and you just realize how many games that are. Hey, Appreciate it, buddy. Love you, man. Love you. Love you. Love you. That's awesome. Just a really special day. I mean, that's that's how I look at it too when I look back, you know, to my thousandth game. After time has passed, you can kind of just sit down, relax, and say, well, yeah, that was pretty cool that I was able to do that, or I was that was unbelievable that I played with that guy and he played he played that many games, or just playing with Sid in general school, because he's obviously one of the best players of all time, and just all those kind of little uh, ceremonies and situations that go on throughout the year to be able to kind of look back on it and have the footage of it is kind of really cool.